Welcome to other pink clothes and thank you for joining this channel to watch this video. Let's talk about farm for the enclose. I'm doing some cases where I'm taking good pharmacological question and I'm turning into a case form to show you how you can analyze these cases in the bad using the buzzwords. They're going to give you questions like that. They're not going to give you straightforward question unless it's an old type of question they've been giving. But at the same time, they'll give you a case form in a pharmacological way to figure out if you can recognize it. So I'm teaching you how you can find it. So stay with me and watch and see what I have for you. Okay, you guys usually can follow up, uh, join us uh, during our Saturday meeting. So as I've said before, pharmacology in the new generation or next generation is going to be a case form. Some of them will be standalone but they will give it to you. They will take the signs and symptoms and put in the case and they want you to find the problem or they will give you the, the medication and they want you to find our light with signs and symptoms are a problem. That's the key. So let's see if we can recognize this. A two year, a 20 year old male football player was evaluated by the team physician due to what? Weakness, fatigue, and easy bruising. Three buzzwords. Always pay attention. The first line, there has to be a clue that will lead to the rest of the case. That is the way we write case. The report of excessive bruise, bruising, another buzzword, when shaving and brushing is teeth. See, excessive bleeding. Is uh, recovering from what? Runny nose and cough. That's how do you recover from runny nose and cough? Recurrent infection, that's another buzzword. This is the third time you have to underline, third time he has had flu-like symptoms in the month. That tells you this is a recurrent problem, another buzzword. He can't run 10 miles anymore, so he's weak. You only go one mile and then he's tired. He has not been to the gym due to fatigue. There's nobody sick that he has been with. So we have a patient who is weak, who is fatigued, easy bruising, bleeding, recurrent infection. That should tell you something. What is this virus? His temperature is 98. He's slightly tachycardic. Brown pressure is fine. Respiratory is okay. He's sadly 98% roommate. On exams, he looked pale. Buzzwords. Bruises on the chest. Buzzwords. Abdomen and legs, so there's bruises everywhere. He has no edema. That is good. Frequent non-productive cough, buzzword. So he's coughing and he looks congested. S1, S2, normal. The abdomen is soft. It's non-tender and no spleen is not uh, big. And the liver is not big. What do you think? I have a patient who is weak, is fatigue, has easy bruising, okay, and is bleeding with just a minor activity like shaving, okay, and is having recurrent infection. He's tachycardic, he's weak. His body shows he's pale, he has bruises on the chest and abdomen. Something should be telling you that we have a platelet problem. We have the VVC problem that's recurrent infection. And we have RBC problem that's the fatigue and pill. That should, after you read this question, you should be able to make diagnosis from this. Just by reading it, you should be able to get an idea of what is going on. So let's continue. What do we have? The, they provided some treatment. Client was sent to the emergency room and admitted for workup. They did a bone marrow biopsy. It shows leukemia. This CVC Y count 250,000 with bands, bad weights. That means this, the VVC, they are not effective. That's why he has recurrent infection. Hemoglobin of what? Seven. That's too low. And his platelets less than 10,000, 100,000. This is what we call pancytopenia. That means platelet is down, hemoglobin is down, 
and WBC is down. Even though it's 250,000, the bands are uh, what uh, made up of this. They, so they are small, small, immature red blood cell. So the actual mature ones, you can't find them. They are the ones that fight infection. This doesn't fight, fight infection because of the sex in production. So we have pancytopenia. What do you want to do? Which of the following prescription is indicated and select the corresponding function and the side effect, right? What is the problem? What will you give this patient who has what? Anemia, low platelet, and then uh, leukocytosis that are all banned, that are ineffective. You have to know this, okay? This is hematology for we have Iputin, we have Eprovacin, and we have Fibrastin. These are three medications you have to know for hematology. What is their function? Ipo is responsible for the red blood cell. Eprovacin was to increase the platelet, and Fibrastin will take care of the, the VVC. What are the side effects? RBC, when you give somebody protein, they increase their red blood cell, their hematocrite goes up and they develop polycythemia vera. This leads to what? Hypertension. That is the side effect of this. So you watch for that. Okay. Oprovacin, the major problem for this problem is cardiac arrhythmia. And then the filgrastin, what it does is um, it increases, um, so operavirkin, which is this one, this is the side effect, causes cardiac arrhythmia. And the VVC uh, caused by, increased by fibrastin will cause bone pain. So that's the the way the, the diagram is going to be. Epo one go to red blood cell and it lead to hypertension. The pravacin too will increase your platelets and lead to cardiac arrhythmia. Fibrastin three increases your WVC and will cause bone pain. This is something you're supposed to know. Three pharmacology, three medication for hematology. I've given you their function. I've given you their side effect. You need to start doing this. And that will make pharmacology easy. Whether they set it in the uh, old generation form or the new generation, the Q bands are trying to look like that. The way I'm trying to uh, trying to mirror image what the Q bands are doing, so that you can be familiar with that as you as you study. So once again, this is the way you should be studying pharmacology. Know the medication and the side effect, or the side effect, and be able to recognize the medication. This is the end of it. Take care of yourself. Subscribe for more content like this. All the best of luck. Bye-bye.